surveying group number 10 leveling what is leveling the instrument for measuring the elevations is known as a level and the process of determining elevations is called leveling what is elevation the elevation of a point is the height in the vertical plane from the datum surface in the vertical plane. There are three types of leveling methods. They are barometric, barometric leveling, trigonometric leveling, spirit leveling. Datum. What is datum? Datum is any surface to which elevation are referred. The mean sea level affords a convenient datum world over, and elevations are commonly given as so much above or below sea level. It is often more convenient, however, to assume some other datum, especially if only the relative elevation of points are required. Benchmark We can note it as BM. It is fixed reference point through a level surface of known elevation in ordinary survey work. A benchmark can be arbitrarily chosen and its elevation assumed. The GTS Great Trigonometrically Survey benchmark refers to the main level at a point by collecting data of sea level elevation over long period of time mean sea level we can note it as msl it is the average height of the sea for all stages of the tides at any particular place it is derived by averaging the hourly tide heights over a long period of 19 years different types of bm gts benchmark second one permanent benchmark Third one, arbitrary benchmark. Fourth one, temporary benchmark. GTS benchmark means Great Trigonometric Survey. A GTS benchmark is permanently fixed reference survey station. Station means point having known elevation with respect to standard datum. Datum means sea level. Permanent benchmark. Permanent benchmark is established with reference to GDS benchmark such as railway platform, dam, bridge, etc. There are useful for future reference also. Arbitrary benchmark. When a small ordinary leveling work is to be carried out or when the permanent benchmark is not nearby the palace where the survey is to be carried out then to start the leveling work any prominent object like plinth or strap of building etc is chosen as the benchmark and its elevation is assumed arbitrary one is temporary benchmark a temporary benchmark is fixed point with a known elevation used to level control during construction works and surveys nails in road seals or marks on cup and canal are commonly used as temporary benchmark as you can see from the picture in this part we are going to talk about terrestrial surface geoid and ellipsoid what is a terrestrial surface a terrestrial surface is a surface that is mainly composed of land mountains rocks etc without the inclusion of water it also means relating to Earth or Earth's surface. What is an ellipsoid? An ellipsoid is a term used to refer to the more general model of the shape of the Earth. This comes about due to the fact that the Earth's equatorial diameter is longer than its polar diameter, thereby making each of their planes to have an ellipse shape. Hence, the Earth has an ellipsoidal shape with its pores being slightly flat. What is geoid? Geoid is a good is a term used to refer to the more specific model of the earth of the shape the shape of the earth. In addition to the earth having an ellipsoidal shape, it is also a lumpy. This means that the earth bulges at certain points due to hills and mountains and hence is not level. 
This lumpiness, in addition to its ellipsoidal shape, the earth takes the form of a geoid, as we can see in the diagram below. So we've come to the uses of these terms in surveying. The above mentioned models, these models can be terrestrial surface ellipsoid and shape, are used in satellite based instrument survey. Specifically, they are used in global positioning satellites, also known as GPS systems. The GPS systems use the ellipsoid model as a baseline to measure the elevation of a particular location on Earth. Other systems use the geoid model as it accurately represents these elevations. Equipotential line. An equipotential surface is a surface that is connecting points of equal gravity. The geoid is the particular equipotential surface that has been chosen to represent something that is closest to mean sea level. Surface parallel to geoid is also an equipotential curve. Gravity is same in all directions. Traditionally, zero vertical referred as MSL. Water surface is equipotential line from where all measurement is done. Hypsometer is an instrument for measuring height or altitude. The working of hypsometry for determining the elevation depends upon the fact that the temperature at which water boils varies with the atmospheric pressure. The boiling point of water reduces at higher altitude, thus knowing the boiling point of water, the atmospheric pressure can be calculated and knowing the atmospheric pressure, altitude or elevation can be determined. This is a picture uh, which shows how hypsometric leveling is used. Barometric leveling. In this method, the altitude difference is determined by means of a barometer. This leveling is based on the fact that the atmospheric pressure varies inversely with height. In this method, barometer is used to determine the differences in elevation of points which differ considerably in heights as in hilly area or mountainous area. This is a picture which shows how barometric leveling is used. Here is our team, Surendra, Kwangu, Tusira, Vihanga and Unila. Thank you.